this is Ryan Neal from the USA offices of Neal's Saddlery and Harness Cowboy Sewing Machines and High Tech Sewing Machines. And today we're going to be doing a video demonstration of our 72600L25. And this is a bag and canvas sewing machine. The 72600L25 is a long arm machine. It's 25 inches from, uh, to the right of the needle, so the usable space is 25 inches to the right of the needle. It does feature fully adjustable stitch links. It also has a fully operational reverse mechanism. This particular machine we have set up with a pneumatic presser foot lifter so that when I push down on the pedal, you can see that the presser foot lifter lifts up or down. I can also activate the presser foot lifter just by pushing on uh, this button right here. Uh, and, and then I can set the presser foot back down again by uh, either pushing on the button or depressing the pedal. Also, this machine features a pneumatic reverse mechanism so I can push this uh, button right here and you can see the reverse lever dropping on the machine. And so what that enables you to do is put the machine in reverse just by pressing this button rather than reaching all the way over to uh, push down on the reverse lever. Now we can equip this machine both ways. We can equip it with the electronic systems or we can equip it without the electronic systems as well. So there are, that we do have upgrade options, like I had said before, with the pneumatic presser foot lifter and the pneumatic reverse mechanism as well. Uh, this machine uses the Mitsubishi style uh, shuttle hook mechanism in it, so it has a large bobbin. You can see the size of the bobbin here for this particular machine. It's fairly good size. The machine can handle up to a size 277 thread, and in some instances, maybe up to a size 346. It uses um, a, a very common needle system. I believe this is a 794 needle system um, for this particular machine, which is also what we use in our, in our heavier weight stitchers as well. And again, fully adjustable presser foot tensions. One of the nice features about this machine is that you can actually do free sewing on the machine just by lifting up on the presser foot. So that as you're moving your material through, um, you don't actually have to use the walking foot on the machine to do the sewing. And that's one of the advantages of a machine like this. So if you're trying to sew circle patterns or something like that, you simply lift up on the presser foot and then it can, it, and then just you manipulate the material by yourself and then it will sew those up. It would sew virtually any pattern that you want, which again makes it ideal for bulk bag production. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna do some demonstration of sewing with this machine. Um, we're gonna start out just by using the walking foot mechanism and then I'll lift up on the presser foot so you can see that you can in fact free sew with this machine as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off uh, with a couple of layers of canvas. This is relatively heavy canvas, the type of canvas that's used in bulk bag production. So I'm going to go ahead and start sewing here. We have the machine set to run around 1500 RPM. This machine can run faster than 1500 RPM. The uh, motor set to run 1500. But you can see it feeds very nicely and very evenly. One nice thing about this machine too is that it has a very large stitch. So I'll see if you guys can uh, get a close up on those stitches there. And that's uh, actually, uh, right now the stitch dial is set at 6. So it can, it can in fact go all the way up to 12, which means you can actually get a stitch that's about twice as big as that. So I'm going to go ahead and continue sewing down this piece so you can see uh, how the machine performs. And again, you can see the presser foot lifting up as I make that turn. I'm pushing down on the pedal right here to activate the presser foot. Oh, I'll set the foot back down. And I'll, continue I'll show you the pneumatic reverse mechanism, which is right here. I simply press this button and the machine backs up. Uh, putting the machine into reverse so you can do back tack stitching and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and continue sewing down the piece here. And we're, we are using our variable speed servo motor with this machine as well. Okay, now I'm going to show you the uh, ability of the machine to sew different patterns just by, just by keeping the presser foot lifted up and free stitching. So right now I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and lift the presser foot up using the button on the machine and then I'm going to go ahead and do free stitching without the, the use of the walking foot so you can see how the machine performs. So the little circle there and I'm doing the same thing right here. Now when you do this you have to be very careful, watch your fingers because you certainly do not want to get your fingers stuck over the arm of this machine. So again, as you can see, I just did a, uh, a free stitch pattern across this material. I'm going to extract the material from the machine so that you can see how it performed. So I did a series of circles, and I'm not sure if the camera can see all of those, but I started back this direction, did a series of circles, another series of circles, and another series of circles all the way down the piece of uh, um, canvas material here. 
So again, you can do that with this machine. You can, you can uh, back the material up, move the material forward, move it anywhere under the machine. It does have the ability to uh, free sew as well as utilize the walking foot mechanism. So this is a demonstrational video on our 72600L25 uh, long arm uh, sewing machine designed for bulk bags and canvas. And my name is Ryan Neal from the USA offices of Neal's Sathery and Harness Cowboy Sewing Machines and High Tech Sewing Machines. And I do thank you for your time today.